Hello everybody, welcome to my X-Files today in this part one I am introducing to you the Depot Manor class but this one is no normal Manor class it's the iconic preserved Hinton Manor steam locomotive which of course is quite perfect so the good thing is is that it has an instruction book and owner's manual which is a 28 page instruction book it of course shows you a bit of the, of the history of the train as well as looking at the specifications of the locomotive itself it tells you more about the so it tells you about the quick start and the unboxing the accessory pack, so it's got an accessory pack, and of course putting on extras, putting in your deco DCC decoder or sound decoder, talks about your tender as well, and speaker installation for DCC sound, which they use a net something called net stating and then of course just move the camera again it's got about the uh, how to use the DCC sound on the on a decoder for the locomotive and the controller talks about body removal And then of course spare parts, which there's a hell of a lot of spare parts, including the Churchwood tender that comes with it. It's got a warranty on it, so it talks about warranty. But it's like a month, that's a year, sorry. Even more on the warranty. It talks about contacts. And of course, you can put all your notes on that page. Okay. So you got an extra bag for your numerals. And then, of course, you got these, of course, extra bits, which I don't think they're applicable, but oh, yeah, this this looks really nice, very flashy as well. Very different kind of connection. So it is the the Daypole Manor class seven eight nineteen Hinton Manor in the perfect black that's more or less the same as Dimble Manor before they changed the uh, tender, which of course is this black British Railways early emblem ten tender that's in this colour. Of course, got good it's just like my Grange class got some kind of running thing to it and then of course it's got some flashy gold pieces to it as well it, and of course it has red nameplates of course 
the train was re uh, recolored to British Railways Early Emblem again, so before they uh, get in the way. So it's time for demonstration of this train. So I'm just going to put the train on tracks, and then I'll be there. So here it is on the track, looks really perfect, and of course you can just see they've got some very good cylinders, of course they more or less be the same size as the other trains, so let's see it running. Yeah, so that's actually running perfectly. Of course, the train would work similar to my Grange class locomotives, but this train sounds perfect. So good, really good motor. And I can already hear that my motor sounds similar to um, I think my Grange class. And I just saw another feature. This train is like it's got a, that looked like a lit fire in that. No, yeah, no, yeah, it's a lit, actually a lit fire. Place, which is similar to that of the uh, 6201 Princess Elizabeth because that's also got a, f a flickering firebox fit in as well. So yeah, that's the full power of the train. So yeah, perfect all round locomotive, but you can see that, of course, this train replace will replace the King class locomotive, King William, that I used to have, because I decided to replace, withdraw and replace it with something else. So thank you for watching this, and I'll see you next time. Suckers!